Hello there folks and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. My name is Ash and I'm your host here on this journey through men's style, self-development and personal grooming. Now men who enjoy style will already know that it is the accessories that make all the difference between being stylish and just being an also ran. It's the little things like the pocket square, the way you knot your tie, perhaps a lapel badge, your watch, and it's also those other accessories which perhaps don't get seen that often, but they make a difference. Things like your wallet. And just recently, I've been looking around to replace my wallet. I bought a new wallet last year. It was a bifold wallet, quite large, and I decided perhaps it was just too big for me. I wanted to scale down and have something a little bit more practical that doesn't leave a bulge in my clothing when I carry it in my back pocket where I traditionally carry a wallet. And I think I have found my perfect companion. And this is the Swanfield wallet by a brand called Carl Friedrich. Now we're going to sit down in a moment and have a look at this wallet and I'll tell you about why I think this is my perfect companion. Okay, so here is the star of our show, the Swanfield wallet by Carl Friedrich. And as you can see, it's a beautiful cognac color, this particular example, but it is available in other colors. It comes in a darker brown and a black. But the reason I opted for the cognac is because I can tell uh, and I can envisage this wallet aging beautifully. I can imagine this color patinering wonderfully. And it's actually very tactile to feel now, but I know as time goes on, the leather is going to soften. It's going to just become an even better experience as time goes on. Um, it feels very robust. It is small, but adequate to place the detritus of a gentleman's life within. So let's have a look at this piece. On the back, as you can see, or say the back, it could be the front, whoever you want to look at it, there is a nice big slot. Within that slot, you can place your regularly used credit card. Now for me, I've just put a business card for ease of demonstration, but you know, that's going to be the card that you use every day, all the time perhaps. But it's the thing I want to point out as well is actually the beautiful finishing just around the edges. Probably, you know, technically not necessary in the construction of this wallet, but it just looks visually attractive and, you know, it just finishes the look for me. Let's have a look at the front. So as you can see on the front, um, I opted for the personalization service. Costs an extra £25 to have that, but in this case, I've gone for the word chap. You can have whatever you like. You could have your initials, your first name, whatever. Um, and the coloration of those indented letters is a matter for you. You can choose a number of different options. You can even choose where that personalization is. I went for the front. You can have it on the front or the back or the inside. It's a matter for you. The personalization is, you know, something unique to your individual wallet. So if we flip it open, inside we get to see, you know, the important parts really where you're going to store your things. And it's important to have enough space to put the things you need, but not so much space that the wallet is superfluous in size. So on the left hand side, you can see we have the slots for one's credit cards. This, uh, this wallet will take up to seven cards, should be enough for most gentlemen. Uh, there's one large uh, slot at the bottom. Again, as you can see, finished with that beautiful edging there, which just makes it very attractive. And then two uh, slots above for additional cards, nice and easy to get your cards in and out, not so tight that it's a difficult task to get them back and forth. Um, then if we turn it over into the sort of landscape mode, and you can see there's a nice slot there, slightly larger, you can place perhaps a larger card. In my case, I've put a driver's license in there. So plenty of room for that. And then a compartment on the inside, where right now I've put some cash, um, 20 pound note, the largest well, generally a uh, note that you find in circulation in the UK, unless you happen to carry 50s, which is rare, but plenty of room for a folded £20 note and then room on the other side should you wish to keep more notes or, um, you know, cards, cash, whatever you may choose. So, a pretty all-round decent wallet, it is fair to say. But let's have a sit down and a talk about some of its more fine details. Okay, so you've seen the wallet. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that for me, it's really important to know more about the origin story of the products that I bring into my collection. Because, you know, I just like to know where they come from, what they're all about. It's just part of the ownership experience for me. And exactly the same goes for my wallet. In fact, 
it's an important item. It's not just an also ran accessory. If you think about it, your wallet is something which is going to be with you for potentially many years. It's something which is with you pretty much all the time when you're out and about. It's something which definitely reflects importantly upon you as its owner because you're going to pull it out in front of strangers. You're going to be making payment for goods. If you're in a, in a restaurant with a new friend or female partner, or whatever it may be, you know, you pull your wallet out to get your credit card out to pay for the bill. And if you're carrying something which is cheap and inexpensive, you know, it doesn't reflect well upon you. That all important first impression has been damaged. So for me, I like a wallet which is leather. Um, when it comes to Carl Friedrich, which was um, brought into being, as I say, 2012, by brothers Nicholas and Mattis, who opened the company with a desire to make things of high quality. And looking at their product line, you know, there's some great things in there, some luggage, briefcases, lots of practical things. There's a couple of different types of wallet, uh, key holders, things like that. All very well manufactured. When I look at this particular wallet, some of the things which, you know, really attract me, not just the sort of beautiful tech tactile feel uh, and the construction, but having read the material, I know that the wallet has been stitched using a continuous monofilament, which means that it's rugged. It's up to the rough and tumble of daily life. You know, you can see just where the leather is finished, um, where the, uh, the stitching uh, separates the compartments. It's been double stitched just so that you know that this will be unyielding after many years of high quality use. I was also very pleased to see that Carl Friedrich as a company obviously have a great deal of confidence in their product. They've got a 100 day trial period. So if you own the wallet after 90 days, you don't like it, you can send it back within that trial period and they will refund you. And the leather also has a lifetime guarantee. So if something goes wrong with it, perhaps the stitching fails, you know, you can bring it up with them and they can perhaps um, make an alteration, ameliorate you in some way or repair or replace the wallet. So it's good to see that they've got that confidence in their own products. Um, all in all, I've been carrying this wallet now for two weeks and it has definitely lived up to my expectation. Um, lots of little things as I've owned it, really, you know, the ease of getting your card in and out of the back when you're standing in a garage forecourt and paying for your fuel, just makes it a little bit easier than that old bifold wallet I had. And of course, having that little personalization, you know, lightens the mood every time I pull it out. It just makes me feel a little bit special when I see, uh, you know, my, my name or the chap on the front of this wallet. So all in all, it's been a great experience. I've enjoyed this wallet. Um, I shan't be sending it back at the end of the 100 day trial period. This is a keeper going in the back pocket and it's definitely staying there. So why not check out uh, Carl Friedrich? I'll leave a link to their site below. See what they got. See if there's something that takes your eye.